This video was made for PHP coder searching for SQL parser written in PHP, of course. If you are one of these guys, you have reached a great places. I will present you a class I've submitted in phpclasses.org. It's a package named tqml to tree and it just handles dql and dml, so I name it zoo, but we can call it sql to tree. Its purpose is to convert SQL query to a tree hierarchical representation accessible as a PHP array. So let's have a look at file contained in this package. As we can see, there is an example file provided in this package. So we will enter into this one. And it seems very easy to use. You just need to require one file to create your object with SQL query as parameter, to launch the parsing processes, and after that you have your array into this variable, so you can do what you want with it. What we will do is a command line tool to take SQL query as argument. So I will require my package, I will write a function to take SQL query as argument. In my function, I will create my parser object and I will print the result of my parsing process. And I will launch this function with my command line argument. So I have to check if there is no bug. Okay, so I will launch this one with a very simple query. Like this one. And what we can say, it's the resulting array is very easy to read. But it's not just the only power of my classes. If you look at the example, the second query under the first is very complex. As you can see, there is subquery in the field part. There is lot of join parts with parentheses to define priority of join. There is some subquery in the rare clauses. And you have a field which value contain a subquery, but it's just a value. And a lot of parser with regular expression will fall in the trap. And a lot of parser don't parse subquery everywhere. So, what you can see is union of more query and you can see other sections just having group by orders or our classical select query section. And what we will look it's that the parser deliver this query without a problem and I even don't know any PHP SQL parser which can handle such a query. It's a single, the only parser in the world that can do this one. But it's not just, a, has to say, it's not just handle complex query. It can do much more. If I give you something like, like that, It's a normal query. So here you have a function, a count function, but the approach is to be the more generalist possible. So it can handle some things like that. You don't need to rewrite the rule 
to have some uh, result. It's a very clever parser because it can handle very complex query, but it's a very compliant parser because it can handle some custom part of your query and it's so compliant that sometimes it's very fun to see what you can do something with aliases so I wrote plop plop up and what you can see is it will do his best to print a array of your query so the more compliant you cannot more do more compliant as this and you cannot more do more clever than this and all this powerful is just handled in 20 kilobytes of code and it's just handled in 500 lines of code so it's very few lines of code to just this power but as you can see there is a third file in the package because I just deliver the parsing so you just not have to worry about the tree but it's up to you to make your exploitation of this tree so what you can see it's an exploitation example but they are very crappy but they exist so if you have an insert statement with a lot of fields if you are reading a log with SQL files SQL queries you will see SQL insert statement with more than 100 files so field with values so you can make a function to associate the good field and the good value in a very simple array so you can do function to associate field with your update so in set you can do function to extract just where clauses exclusively separated by and or by or so it's a lot of possibility I will launch this example so you can see the result. So as you can see the array provided by the first function is very simple. The array provided by the set function and the rare clauses function are very powerful and simple array. So it's just example of how you can exploit the result but it's up to you to exploit. So some guys asked me to reverse this function dqml to tree to make tree to dqml but I need something to do that I need your support because I don't have so much time so if you want me to do that I ask you to vote for my package in order to be innovation around first price so it's just uh, a little uh, but I, I will uh, see if I make it uh, without uh, having uh, the first place but maybe I will make this later than if I have the first place I it will just give me some uh, some uh, happy to work <laughs>